care home offers family members a safe and secure environment, enabling a high standard of physical and social well-being in later life. I think we'd come to realise that he would need something because we knew he couldn't live at home anymore. He'd already tried a little bit of, uh, when he'd had the previous injury, he'd already tried with people coming in to look after him. And it, to be honest, it didn't work out very well. So it was really obviously essential that he ought to find somewhere. We got to the situation where we were calling in the ambulance service out to get us out of problems. And so in the end, we decided that um, time was to, to move into an establishment to get more help. I was in Bournemouth Hospital, the big hospital. I was treated and I was sent home after three weeks on my own with a food parcel. And it was really quite devastating. So I thought now the time has come when I've got to think about going into care not only for my own sake, but for my family's sake. They wouldn't have to worry about me. I think what's really important uh, is to make sure that professional people, solicitors, financial planners are working together to make sure uh, it's a very client-centric approach. So I think it's combining those tools and those options to make sure you get the right outcomes for the client. So I think it's important that it's a very collaborative approach. And quite often, by the time somebody comes to see a legal professional, Christ, they've reached crisis point already, which means that perhaps a relative is in some difficulty. I would hope that it's not always the case. I mean, that's the worst possible scenario. Sometimes, if somebody comes in to make a will, we will talk to them about making lasting powers of attorney, which is the document that gives them the ability to allow other people to make decisions on their behalf. And it's much better to do it straight away. There is no uh, better time to do it. It's as soon as possible. We should all have one, whatever our age or circumstances. The key is to plan. Plan ahead. Don't put things off. Don't let inertia rule. And try and plan. Have a proper coordinated plan so you can flex with various situations, a plan which is adaptable. I think also is don't be fearful about care. There is some lovely uh, uh, caring institutions out there and it's just understanding how far your budget can go in terms of helping you decide who, where you should go, uh, uh, who should look after you. Well, no two people are alike. I had friends who, when I made up my mind, I said, well, I'm going into care. Oh, what do you want to do that for? There's lots of different hang-ups that people have about residential or nursing home. One is about the quality of care. One is that they're always going to be concerned about um, losing their freedom, losing their independence. So again, it's, it's talking to the clients, reassuring them that's not necessarily the case. There are some really good care homes out there that they can choose from. Everybody's always worried about how they're going to fund it, um, but again, there's, there's means and ways and people to talk to to help you through that. He immediately saw that it was a relief to not have the day-to-day -day worries. And frankly, he just, he, I thought he settled in extremely well. My mother was instantly um, at ease with the staff. Everybody helps everybody out. It's not them and us, it's everybody working together for the benefit of the residents. They're not them and us, we're just friends from top to bottom. You know, if you've got a problem, you go and sort it out. It's not unlike her living in our own home nearby. We can come and go as we please. Oh yeah, you've still got your independence to 99%. We can come in and take Grandma upstairs to the coffee shop and like have a coffee with her, like just be really relaxed, not feel like pressured and it's really nice. I do think you ought to look for a friendly atmosphere, I think that's quite important. I think they need that when they're moving into somewhere that's strange, they need that friendliness. 
I think the comfort is that she is content. The, she all, often refers to the staff as caring and loving. Uh, and to me, they're um, consistent. I see the same faces that I think is important. And um, they're open to any comments I might have and uh, I'm in a position where I can often give them a bit of praise as well, so, uh, which they always say thank you and uh, we have a good relationship. I've always been um, very, very happy and I've met some amazing people which I would never have met otherwise. Residential and nursing care can offer a rich and fulfilling lifestyle for residents and peace of mind for their families. For more information on care homes, contact these support organisations. <music>